welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया द फोकस ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर सेकेंड कोर्स ऑन समास is the three remaining types of samasas in sanskrit in the first course on samasa we dealt with in detail the tatpurusha samasa which is the largest umbrella largest type of samasas in sanskrit the remaining three types of samasas avyayi bhav bahuvrihi and dvandva are the focus of this second course on samasa so far in this second course we have studied the theoretical background necessary for the process of compounding to happen in this relation we have studied the concept of samartha and again the two types of samarthya namely vyapeksha and ekarthi bhava we also studied the explanation of the word samartha given by patanjali and we associated these explanations with the two types of samarthya namely vyapeksha and ekarthi bhava we also studied the process of speech production we also briefly studied the system of karakas then we also studied the derivation process of the samasa we carefully noted down different steps that take place in this derivation process as input as well as output we noted that the sentence is the input for the process of compounding and the pratipadika or the nominal root is the output of the process of compounding we also studied several key concepts related to samasa like laukika vigraha as well as alaukika vigraha nitya samasa and anitya samas vritti etc now after having studied this background let us proceed further and delve deep into the first type of samas namely the avyayi bhav samas this theoretical background is common to all four types of samasas so we studied this background 
when we studied the Tatpurusha Samasa also. Now, let us study the remaining three Samasas. The first one is Avyayi Bhava Samasa. This is the equation representing the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, where we have X and Y as two separate independent Padas which are semantically related and then the speaker intends to join them together and their meaning gets merged into one unit and then the words also get merged into one unit which is x, y. Now in this x, y, x is shown in bold characters to highlight the fact that amongst x and y, x acts as the head of the compound and the meaning of x acts as the head of the meaning of the compound. This is extremely important. In the Tatpurusha Samasa, Y was playing the role of the head and the meaning of Y was playing the role of the head in the meaning of XY. Now in Avyayi Bhava, it is X and its meaning which play the role of the head in the newly generated unit output which is one. So this is the feature of Avyayi Bhava Samasa. In the Ashtadhyayi, Avyayi Bhava Samasa is treated in various sections. Let us take a look at those sections briefly. First come the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutra, the sutras prescribing the compound. In general, the sutras prescribing the compound are put together in the first and the second pada of the Ashtadhyayi. Amongst them, the sutras prescribing the Avyayi Bhava Samasa are stated in between 215 and 2122 excluding. 215 is Avyayi Bhavaha and 2121 is Anyapadarthe Cha Saudnyayam. 2122 is Tatpurushaha. And in the meta language of Panini, this Tatpurushaha will cancel Avyayi Bhavaha. This is that small section of sutras prescribing the Avyayi Bhava Samasa from 215 up to 2122, excluding. Then we observe that there is a small section of rules stated in 5.4 which state the Samasanta suffixes. So these are the Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutras. They state the Samasanta Pratyaya, the suffix that is to be added at the end of the Samasa or compound which is Avyayi Bhava and they are from 54107 up to 54112. And then we also note that there is a Swara Vidhayaka Sutra, the Sutra prescribing 
the accent on the avyayi bhava for example 62121 there isn't any adhikara or there is isn't any bunch of rules prescribing the accent on the avyayi bhava samasa rather they are scattered here and there and so that is how panini has treated the avyayi bhava samasa in the ashtadhyayi what are the examples of avyayi bhava samasa when we studied the background of compounding in this course we focused on the three samasas that we have decided to dealt deal with in this particular course namely avyayi bhava bahuvrihi and dvandva in this course we already saw some examples of the avyayi bhava samasa let us relook at these examples so we have dine dine as the laukika vigraha which means every day and the output compound is pratidinam pratidina would be the output compound and its vibhaktyanta form would be pratidinam which would mean every day similarly rupasya yogyam is the laukika vigraha and the samasa output generated would be anurupa whose vibhaktyanta form would be anurupam and both of them would mean be fitting the form similarly shaktim anatikramya is the laukika vigraha which means in accordance with one's capab- capability and the compound generated is yatha shakti also meaning the same so pratidinam anurupam and yatha shakti are the examples of the avyayi bhava samasa from the laukika vigraha and the compound output generated it is noticeable that in the samasa some other word appears other than the ones that appear in the laukika vigraha so we have already studied this fact and we say that avyayi bhava samasa in many cases is a nitya samasa all these three they are the examples of the nitya samasa the nitya avyayi bhava samasa let us study some important features of the avyayi bhava samasa this is an important type of samasa in sanskrit however it doesn't have sub types like the tatpurusha samasa tatpurusha has got several sub types we studied them in detail in the first course avyayi bhava samasa doesn't have such sub types and yet avyayi bhava samasa seems to be productive enough in this particular samasa as we saw earlier in this lecture purva pada as well as its meaning are the head so we have a very famous traditional 
स्टेटमेंट प्रायेण पूर्व प्रद पदार्थ प्रधान अव्ययी भाव प्रायेण पूर्व पदार्थ प्रधान अव्ययी भाव वेन वी टॉक ऑफ द एक्सेंट ऑफ द अव्ययी भाव समास वी नोटिस दैट बाय डिफॉल्ट द फाइनल वॉवल ऑफ द कंपाउंड इज एक्सेंटेड ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ द जनरल सूत्र समास लाइक बहुव्रीही वेर देर इज अ सेपरेट सूत्र सेइंग दैट जनरली इन अ बहुव्रीही समास द पूर्व पद रिटेन्स इट्स एक्सेंट बहुव्रीह प्रकृत्या पूर्वपदम नो सच सूत्र स्टेट्स अ सिमिलर कंडीशन फॉर द अव्ययी भाव समास इन जनरल सो बाय डिफॉल्ट द फाइनल वॉवल ऑफ द कंपाउंड इज एक्सेंटेड सो इन प्रतिदिनम विच इज अ विभक्त्यंत फॉर्म इन विच प्रतिदिन इज द समास प्रति इज द हेड एंड द मीनिंग ऑफ प्रति इज ऑल्सो द हेड मीनिंग इन अनुरूप अनु इज द हेड एंड इट्स मीनिंग इज द हेड इन यथाशक्ति यथा एक्ट्स एज द हेड एंड इट्स मीनिंग एक्ट्स एज द हेड ऑफ द एंटायर कंपाउंड ऑल्सो प्रति अनु एंड यथा दीज वर्ड्स आर पिक्युलियर and they determine the form of the compound prati anu and yatha all these three words they are classified under a category called avyaya in paninian grammar these three words are avyayas so what is an avyaya we shall see what is an avyaya in a while but let us look at another important feature of avyayi bhava samasa which is that an avyayi bhava samasa is an avyaya an avyayi bhava samasa as the output is and avyaya on account of the sutra avyayi bhavascha so as we said before prati anu and yatha which are avyayas determine the form of the compound since prati anu and yatha are avyayas the samasa avyayi bhav whose examples are pratidina anurupa and yatha shakti they also behave like an avyaya now what is an avyaya avyaya is an indeclinable word whose forms do not vary according to gender number and cases we have already studied the forms of certain words which are called subantas and we have seven cases and three numbers and also three genders now the forms of different words vary according to the gender as well as number as well as the case rama is the word in masculine which 
will be declined as ramaha ramau ramaha prathama ramam ramau raman dvitiya in which according to the number and the case the forms varied or changed similarly rama conveys the masculine gender if the feminine gender is to be conveyed we will need to add another suffix a to rama and then the word will be rama and then its forms would be rama rame ramaha prathama ramam rame ramaha dvitiya and so on and so forth so the forms will vary however in case of avyayas such a variation is not noticed prati anu and yatha do not vary according to gender number and cases similarly pratidinam anurupam and yatha shakti they also do not vary according to the gender number and the cases the vibhaktis this is very important there is a very famous verse also quoted in the great vyakarana mahabhashya which captures the features of an avyaya the verse reads sadrusham trishu lingeshu sarvasu cha vibhaktishu vachaneshu cha sarveshu yannavyeti tat avyayam i repeat sadrusham trishu lingeshu sarvasu cha vibhaktishu vachaneshu cha sarveshu yannavyeti tad avyayam which means that a word which is similar in form in all three genders and all the cases and all numbers which does not get declined differently is an avyaya i repeat a word which is similar in all three genders and all the cases and all numbers which does not get declined differently is an avyaya according to this verse so for example when we have the word yatha shakti as you see there are three numbers ekavachana dvivachana and bahuvachana and there are seven cases prathama dvitiya tritiya chaturthi panchami shashti and saptami for our theoretical understanding we have written down all the 21 forms over here generally we don't go that far we simply say that the word yatha shakti which is an example of the avyayi bhava samasa does not decline in these cases and vibhaktis in the grammatical der- derivation we only add the prathama ekavachana pratyaya and then it gets deleted on account of certain sutra avyayad aap supaha and then we get the form yatha shakti but for our theoretical understanding you see the form yatha shakti has got no variation no change in any of the vibhaktis as well as any of the numbers it remains same yatha shakti this is an feature a feature this is an important feature of avyaya and avyayi bhava samasa is also an avyaya and we must however note that there is an exception to this by default rule that 
the avyayi bhava samasa does not get declined in different cases because it is an avyaya here is an example the possible exception of the output avyayi bhava samasa which ends in short a the point is that this avyayi bhava samasa ending in short a retains forms of the fifth case and also forms of the third and seventh case optionally on account of the following two sutras navyayi bhava datom tvavanchamya ashtadhyayi 2.4.83 and tritiya saptamyor bahulam ashtadhyayi 2.4.84 and we shall study these sutras in some detail later on but this is an exception and here are the examples so the word pratidinam is shown to be in black color in all cases except tritiya panchami and saptami in panchami there is only one form in different color two and this retains the change in the form pratidinat pratidinabhyam pratidinebhya is the panchami in tritiya and saptami we notice that there are two forms pratidinam which is like another normal avyayi bhava samasa and pratidine na which is a variation pratidine na pratidinabhyam pratidinaihi similarly in saptami pratidine pratidinam is like the normal avyayi bhava samasa but pratidine pratidinayoho pratidineshu is the variation so avyayi bhava samasas ending in short a do represent some exceptional behavior in the avyayi bhava samasa otherwise the avyayi bhava samasa becomes an avyaya and in all the cases its form remains the same that means there is no variation as far as the gender is concerned or number is concerned also as far as the cases are concerned this is an extremely important point to remember then let us talk about the gender of the avyayi bhava samasa the ashtadhyayi tells us that avyayi bhava samasa behaves like a word in the neuter gender this is stated by the sutra avyayi bhavascha ashtadhyayi 2.4.18 generally the avyayi bhava samasa which is an avyaya qualifies an action in the sentence this is the function of the avyayi bhava samasa in the sentence for example saha yatha shakti grantham pathati saha yatha shakti grantham pathati which means he reads the book as per his capability capability or capacity here yatha shakti is linked to the action of reading denoted by the verbal root path this is the semantic relation so we say that yatha shakti qualifies the action of reading denoted by the verbal root path so yatha shakti 
acts as a kriya visheshana in this case similarly many avyabhava samasas are nitya samasas as they show the tendency of aswapad vigraha pratidina is vigraha is dine dine where prati does not appear anurupa has got the vigraha rupasya yogyam in which anu does not figure in similarly yatha shakti has the dissolution shaktim anatikramya where the word yatha does not figure you cannot dissolve the compound pratidina as pratidine rupas anurupa as rupasya anu and yatha shakti as shaktim yatha no the dissolution has to be dine dine rupasya yogyam and shaktim anatikramya of these avyay bhava samasa examples respectively however we also notice that there is some exceptional behavior in some avyay bhava samasas and we shall be dealing with them in detail when we study the respective sutras sometimes avyay bhava samasa is generated on the basis of the semantics of only one pada it does not require semantic relatedness between two padas this is a important exception for example harau is the saptami ekavachana locative singular of the word hari and this same one pada can be expressed in a compound like adhihari so here in order to have the compound adhihari we don't need harau to be semantically related to any other word adhi represents the meaning of the vibhakti in harau which is the saptami vibhakti this is an exceptional behavior similarly some semantically bahuvrihi words formally behave like an avyayi bhav and that's why they are noted down as having exceptional behavior and the example is that of tishthat gu which again we shall study in detail later on when we study the sutra tishthat gu prabhruti nicha to summarize by default purva pada and its meaning are the head in the avyayi bhava samasa an avyayi bhava samasa is an avyaya as per the rules of panini gender of the avyayi bhava samasa is stated to be neuter as per the rules of panini generally avyayi bhava samasa qualifies an action in the sentence and many avyayi bhava samasas are nitya samasas these are the texts referred to thank you very much